Hey guys, Wahala just full everywhere. <laughs> Wahala just full everywhere. Left, right, and center everywhere. Problem for this country. Now, not a news, they don't come out. They don't come on the presidential election petition tribunal. They say, see, where they stand, say, una get plan for grant because. With the way the whole thing they go, when I get on a preferred candidate, uh -huh. but the thing be say, if we now try and declare Bola Metunubu as the winner of the 2023 presidential election, we not go day Nigeria again because this country is unredeemable. APC plus Tinubu, they have nothing to offer, uh -huh. and Nigerians. Who have also reacted to this? Can they ask them say? So suddenly, 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 Una don't get in her voice. When Bola, um, Muhammad Buhari was there, you people were not talking. If people talk, Una go say, eh, they want to overthrow eh, President Muhammad Buhari and all that. Even go for entire head. If anybody asks eh, eh, Muhammad Buhari to resign, you see, you see everything now is playing out. Because what is happening right now, it did not start with Tinubu. The Wala done day on Grand. So Tinubu inherited it from his uh, principal. And the truth remains that he, he promised that he's going to continue from where his uh, presidential stop. So what do you expect? He's just making it worse. You understand? If not, he's not the generator of the problem. The problem they don't already generate and put for grant, all of them join anyway because he's the national chairman of the APC. So, with the look of the situation in Nigeria, APC, it be like say they don't know what to do again. Though they are still asking Nigerians, be patient, be patient. Uh -huh. As in they talk, they say they get plan, they will soon kick, they will see kick off, they will soon do this. But make me not to forget that this is the same style Muhammad Buhari used when Nigerians were complaining about his styles of governance. They said, hey, the man a slow and steady man. Uh -huh. The man a slow and steady man. Now, so they do doing thing. You know, they do giddy, 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 giddy. If they take time, they act, but they know what he's doing. The same thing they came with Bola Metinibun is an expert. Uh -huh. In a Mr. Know It All. You know everything. Uh, he's a builder. He is this. He has an experience and all that. He has an experience and all that. Nigerians are still expecting it too. Because they told us that he built Lagos. And uh -huh. so now that experience, when he used build Lagos, now he will take build Nigeria. But what we are seeing right now, if I like say na different thing, no. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. If the presidential election petition tribunal dares declares Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who is, who, is the, who is the Nigerian president currently, the winner of the 2023 presidential election, hmm. we, the Northerners, we break out of Nigeria. Tinubu, APC, every one of them have nothing to offer. They have lost ideas, you know, to redeem Nigeria. Nigeria is unredeemable. Northern youth wants a CGN. So they still want to break out like uh, IPOB agitators. <laughs> this one they sweet too. So Northern youth now, they won't begin agitation to leave Nigeria if the the court, the presidential election petition court, you know, pronounced Bola Metinubu as a real winner of the 2023 presidential election. Hmm. This matter is really becoming very, very interesting every day. And I am beginning to love it. The whole thing. They said something. They said Nigeria is unredeemable. That is a problem. And why we are facing all this problem is because we are still being ruled by the same set of people. Just be like saying, then they recycle themselves. And uh -huh. then they re, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, then they re, 
recycling themselves and all that. So you don't have to expect anything different. You understand? You don't have to expect anything different. <laughs> Record that the following outcome of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. Majority of people have expressed a high level of disappointment over the outcome of the election that produced Bola Metinubu as a Nigerian president-elect. And now the Nigerian president. Mm -hmm. So different people in Nigeria has blamed the, the chairman of FINEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, for failing to fulfill the promises he made to Nigerians before the election. He said the election is going to be free and fair, and with the use of the beaver's machine, there's nothing like rigging. The election is going to be transparent and all that. Nigerians should have nothing to worry about the 2023 presidential election and other elections. But it seems that that did not happen. You understand? That did not happen. Because later, they can't speak English about glitches. And the most funny part of it is that, is that these glitches they, they, they talked about, it only affected the presidential election, you know, in Nigeria. And that is why Nigerians are really very concerned about what actually happened. If there was a problem, it's not the only presidential election that was conducted that day. So that beavers should have, I swear, you know, misbehave when other elections, you know, uh, were going on. So why is it that it only affected the presidential election uh, election and all that process? So you see, when you look at the, the, the issues concerning what transpires during that election, the INEC chairman... It gets a lot to explain if we are in the same country. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.